Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. Well, you thought it was over, but it's not over. We have another video in the Harry Potter trading card series. Now, you may recognize this box as the very first box that I opened up, which revealed that double autograph card of James and Oliver Phelps, who played the Weasley twins. Well, I got my hands on another one of the Prisoner of Azkaban update set. There are also other autograph cards you can pull, as well as costume and prop cards. If you're new to the Potter Collector channel, first of all, welcome. We're happy to have you here. But we've opened up probably, I don't know, 10 of these Harry Potter trading card boxes. They don't make these or sell these anymore. You have to purchase them on places like eBay or secondhand, but they are super fun to open up and it also gets the nerves and adrenaline running because you never know when you're gonna pull something. And magical rare cards just pop up when you least expect it. I have my trusty close-up view camera right here to show you all of the cards as well as show you those moments if we pull rare cards. Now, don't be alarmed when I just like toss the cards under the table. That's a subconscious response of mine to protect the card. I'm worried that like, if I pull a rare card and start freaking out, I'll like bend the card or something. So I just let go of it, let my excitement die down a little bit, and then we take a closer look at the card. So if you see that happen, don't be alarmed. I cannot believe that we have another one of these boxes to open up. All right, so here is the front of the box. And as you can see, you can find randomly inserted chase cards, costume cards, and autograph cards. On this side, we have Hermione Granger. Hopefully we'll find your autograph. And Harry Potter, hopefully we'll find his as well. And Ron Weasley, played by Rupert Grint. We would also love to have his autograph too. On the box, it shows that there are 105 total cards, eight cards per pack, nine rare foil chase cards, four box topper cards, one per box. There will be one in this box here. And then of course those prop, autograph, and costume cards. Whew, okay. I am already nervous. You're probably nervous too. Let's break the seal. What's crazy about what I'm doing right now is this is a very expensive box that I've just broken the seal to. There's no going back. It just instantly lost its value. So maybe we'll find something super rare on the inside. All right, let's pop it open to see what our topper card is. Okay, it is of Dementors on the Hogwarts Express. And there's that foil effect, that rainbow foil effect. And it is called Drowning in cold. This is how the box was displayed on store shelves. Now, I believe you can also pull the trio's individual autographs as well. So you can get a card signed by Daniel Radcliffe, a card signed by Rupert Grint, or one signed by Emma Watson. Any one of the trio would be fantastic. Here is what the packs look like and the back of the pack. All right, guys, here we go. The nerves are already setting in. Here we have the best of friends, the trio. We would like to see their autograph. Harry Potter leaving Privet Drive. Escape from Azkaban. Dementor's Kiss. Pack number two. Ooh, I think we have a foil chase card. Yes, we do. Dun dun dun. A true Patronus. Now what's cool about these cards is on the back, they are puzzle pieces. So this is number nine of nine. We'll see how many we can collect and see how much of this puzzle we can create. An Animagus. This one feels kind of heavy and odd. I don't know if that means anything, but it feels a little heavy and odd. Oh, we have a film cell card. Okay, see, it felt a little odd. So a film cell card is a card with a little piece of film from the theatrical trailer of the particular Harry Potter movie that this trading card set is based on. So on the back, this is 377 out of 900 worldwide. Congratulations, this Harry Potter cinema film card contains an authentic piece of film from the US theatrical trailer of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And the piece of film that is inside looks to be the scene when Harry is looking for Peter Pettigrew in the hallways on the Marauder's map. Put this card aside there. 
You guys, I remember so vividly pulling that double autograph card of the Phelps twins. It was just insane. Okay, looks like we have another of those foil chase cards. Hogsmeade blanketed in snow. Very beautiful card there. And on the back we have the puzzle piece of Mr. Harry Potter. Number three, dinner is over. Expelliarmus! We still have time. We still have time to pull something, guys. So let's not get overwhelmed or anxious just yet. It is not in the nature of a Dementor to be forgiving. You must look beyond. Buckbeak, he's so easily offended. There they are, the Phelps twins. We have their autograph. I mean, it'd be really funny if we pulled another one of those double autographs by the Phelps twins. I'd rather pull one of the trio. There's something out there. You attacked a teacher. Marge! <laughs> If you have not seen the other videos, we pulled so many rare signed cards and just, oh no. Oh, what a disappointment. This is not something you ever want to see when you open up a box of Harry Potter trading cards. And this is the very first one that we've ever pulled, a redemption card. So the actor who played Ernie Prang, congratulations, you have found a rare redemption card, which may be exchanged for an autograph card signed by Jimmy Gardner, who played the role of Ernie Prang in the film Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So as you can see, the expiration date is the 3rd of November, 2004. So this card is expired. There's no chance of getting this actor's autograph card. This <laughs> is so sad. This is the very first redemption card we've ever pulled. And it's sad that it had to happen in this Prisoner of Azkaban update set. But hey, we will continue on with this and see what other rare cards we might be able to pull. What a sad day. All right, let's hope for a prop card. Maybe there'll be another autograph card in here. I'm not sure. Usually if you have a box with an autograph card in it, it's the only one in the box, but there should be a costume and or a prop card in here somewhere. So next we're hoping for a prop card. What's so sad is Ernie Prang's card is one of only three of the different autograph cards that you can find in the set. That happens to be a redemption card. We, oh, oh, there's something special in this pack here. But what I want to say is we had a great run opening up these boxes without pulling a redemption card. All right, so this is going to be a prop or a costume card. Let's hope for a really rare one. All right, here we go. It is. We've pulled this costume card before. This is the exact same costume card that we pulled in the previous Prisoner of Azkaban trading card set. It's Remus Lupin's costume from Prisoner of Azkaban, and it is number 1,727 out of 2,900 worldwide. And on the back it says, congratulations, this Harry Potter costume card contains authentic costume material worn by David Thewlis as Remus Lupin in the film Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So that is the costume card, I believe, for this box. Let's continue going through to see if we pull a prop card. So I'm gonna go fairly quickly since, you know, there's not a ton of anticipation anymore. <laughs> but let's see if we get lucky and find something else. Let me tell you. So if something pops up, I'm literally gonna freak out because already all the nerves are gone. So <laughs> let's see, all right, we have another chase card, Chasing the Golden Snitch, and it is number five out of nine. We have Hermione and a piece of Ron right there. We'll see how much of that puzzle we can create. Come on, another autograph card. Maybe one just slipped and found its way in accidentally or something. Ooh, we got another foil chase card and this is number nine. Oh my goodness, wow, our luck is not super lucky today. <laughs> so this is the second one of these that we pulled from this pack. So that's one less puzzle piece that we'll be able to put with the rest of the puzzle. 
I don't know, I'm still holding out for some magic and maybe that's what it was. I didn't remind you guys to send magic. <laughs> so it's your fault. No, it's not your fault. But perhaps that's why there was a redemption card because I wasn't creating enough magic. But seriously, if you have not seen this series, it is just super exciting. Once we pull rare autograph cards, I mean, we've pulled Gary Oldman's autograph, who plays Sirius Black, the Phelps twins. I mean, it's just bonkers. There was another double autograph card that we pulled from another box. I mean, these cards are super, super exciting. It is a risk. When you purchase these, you never know what you're going to pull. And the common cards themselves, which are just screen grabs from the films, are super beautiful. Like, look at that one. Look at all the colors on that one. All right, we got another foil chase card. Hopefully it's not a duplicate. It is not a duplicate. We have the Hogwarts Express. It is number one out of nine. You attacked a teacher. Peter Pettigrew, little lump of a boy. Marge! <laughs> So, redemption cards. I'm not sure why they did redemption cards. It would have been nice if they had just taken the time. Oh, that's such a beautiful card. I love this one. It would have been nice had Artbox just received all of the autographs before they released these sets. I don't know, guys. I'm still holding out hope for some last minute magic to pull another special card. Think, Neville. Think. All right, final three packs. Send a little magic my way to at least get another puzzle piece. Oh man, had we pulled that trio card, it would have been nuts. He bit me. Expecto Patronum. All right, the last pack. And that is it. Well, not our luckiest box, but let's take a look at the cards that we did receive. So we did receive that redemption card, the actor who played Ernie Prang. I don't think Artbox exists anymore, but I'll send it in anyway and see what happens. And if something is returned, I will post it on my Instagram account, at the Potter Collector. Sad day, but you know what? We were due for one of these at some point. And then here we have, once again, the Remus Lupin costume card, which has an actual piece of the costume that was worn in the films. And the other rare card was that film cell card. All right, let's see what of this puzzle we can create touch each other. I'm not sure that any of these cards touch one another. Yeah, I really don't think any of them touch each other. So we can't even make any of this puzzle, which is another sad day. You know what? This just wasn't our lucky magical day, and that's all right. I hope that you still had fun opening up this box with me. I always have fun opening up these cards. There's always the thought in the back of your mind that you may not pull anything special. But hey, this is a pretty special card. This is the best one from this box that we pulled. As is true for the other Harry Potter trading card unboxings, I will be giving away some of these cards to you guys, so check the description down below for information on how to enter that giveaway. Once again, in the description down below is a link to the playlist of all the other Harry Potter trading card boxes that we opened. So check that out if you would like to see some very exciting pulls. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here.
If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?